a wrap. Ah. Hi guys, welcome back. I thought it would be a lot of fun to dig into the Sigma X Cinderella from the Disney collection. I know over Vlogmas when I was um, discussing like some cool gift ideas, this was on my personal wish list and they did have a sale at Sigma and I was able to pick this up at a bit of a discount. So I thought it'd be a lot of fun to dive into it together. I really love the way the eyeshadow palette looks with the Sigma Disney collection. I know some Disney collections of different brands are just kind of there because it's Disney and they're slapping the name on it or whatever, but this actually looks really good and I have tried it a little bit. So without further ado, Let's dive in. So let's start with the cutest little makeup case it comes in. Can you see the sparkle? It's incredible. So I love it. Not too much of the glitter comes off. I did travel a little bit with it and I did not regret that. You know, <laughs> if you put something with glitter in your suitcase, you can find yourself just very, very sad. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cute. There's a decent amount of space. I don't know. The brushes kind of came in here. Super cute. I don't know if it's practical for, for very much, except it looks really lovely. If you are traveling, it's just a little bit of extra fun and Disney magic. And inside of there, you do get two lipsticks or one lipstick, one lip gloss. So there's this lovely kind of your lips but better sort of shade. I don't know if you can see like gold Disney princess. It's it's all very gold, very, you know, Disney, um, not Disney, but like the Cinderella blue, like from her gown. Let's take a quick look at the lipstick. So we'll do just a little quick swatch. With a liquid lipstick. So it's just, you know, kind of like pillow talk vibes, your lips but better kind of thing. So that would be nice. And then there was a matching gloss. I think this is pretty glittery, so it should be lovely. It's um, a little darker too for a gloss. I know lots of glosses are kind of rosy. So let's take a look. So I can kind of see the shift in color. So it should be really pretty. I'm excited to get to that part. It also came with, if you get the complete set, you can get these individually. So you can get the lipstick set or lipstick lip gloss set. You can get the blush and highlighter. So this duo is so cute. Just look at the embossing on the actual products themselves, like the highlighter. It's a little more difficult to tell with the blush, but it's Prince Charming and Cinderella herself. So it's really cute. It's kind of the, the sorts of shades that I do prefer for either late summer, and here we are in springtime right now, but that's okay. And then the aglow, it looks pretty glowy, so we'll see how this looks on. But even the inserts are just so lovely. It'd be a little hard to tell, but you can just see like the detail on the little piece of plastic that like comes inside of it. It's just a really well thought out, beautiful collection. Like you can see the, the front of it, it's just so pretty. So if you are gifting it for either birthdays coming up, I think they'll be very pleased. It's a really pretty collection. And then the brushes themselves, it comes with a set of five different makeup brushes. So we have the foundation brush, just the classic Sigma foundation brush. So this is good for kind of the more fuller coverage, liquidy sort of foundations. They're nice, very flat top, wide, fairly dense, but not like too dense. So we'll be using this to apply the foundation. And then it comes with a powder brush. So a decent sized, kind of domed powder brush. So this is good for, we'll use this mostly for the blush. So this is a F10 powder blush brush. And then you get three eyeshadow brushes. You get the Sigma E30 pencil brush. So, and a little, very precision eyeshadow brush. So this is great for smudging out under the eye. You get the E40 which is a nice large blending brush for eyeshadow. And it's still, it's got the beautiful blue Cinderella color. And then there's a flatter eyeshadow for eye shading, the E55. So you can see it's a little thinner, 
wide brush. So we'll use this for the glitter because we're definitely getting into the glitter of the eyeshadow palette. Best for last, this is the most beautiful eyeshadow palette. It does come with a brush as well. So let's see. The E38 and the E54 like combined into one brush. So like the fluffier blending brush and then the more kind of precision brush down here. So that comes inside. Typically with eyeshadow brushes that come with a palette, you're like, whatever, they're not usually that great. But with Sigma, since they make such great brushes, I think that will be a wonderful addition to the eyeshadow brush collection. <laughs> but here we go. Oh, let's start with the outside. The same sort of Disney princess. Beautiful little logo. And then on the inside, we have lots of lovely shimmer shades, a light, a nice black, some lovely matte shades. I really feel like this would be great for spring, summer. Lots of bright pops of color. So we've got like the blue here, really nice sort of turquoisey. Super excited to get into here and start playing around. I have used it a couple of times. Like I said, I took it with me, the, you know, the whole kit and caboodle on a trip. Cause I was curious to see if the glitter kind of went everywhere from the pouch. Very minimal fallout from that. The eyeshadows work nicely. But yeah, let's get into it today and let's do a nice, somewhere between going out and a look you could wear out for the day. So I've seen some beautiful, huge, like Cinderella going to the ball eye looks. Um, I think we're gonna tone it down a bit, something spring, summer appropriate. I don't really feel the desire to wear like really heavy makeup spring, summer. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna go with something a little fresher and uh, yeah, let's go. So in the interest of using as much of this kit as we can, I will take the foundation brush and put on my Lisa Eldritch foundation. I've been playing around with this. I have the number five today, which might be a touch dark for for this time of year, but it's not too bad, so I think we'll be okay. So I'll start, as always, by misting my brush a little bit. I don't like it absorbing too much product. Also, I do like a slightly more sheer foundation, so this does help. I have used the Sigma foundation brush before and this works just as well. I mean, it's their foundation brush. It's just, you know, a little prettier because it's got the blue handle. I feel like it makes quick work of foundation, goes on nicely, no brush marks, especially if, you know, you do the classic stippling. You know, the shape of this brush is definitely designed for that. So I think we have a nice application. And I don't know, I think the color is okay, actually. If I remember, it does darken a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, we have our base done. Foundation, a little bit of concealer, the brows are, you know, I put something in there a little while ago, so we're gonna consider them good to go. It's really all about this eyeshadow palette. Da -da -da. <laughs> all right, so I am dying to do a look around this shade right here, so. This is going to be the end goal. <laughs> Something involving this beautiful turquoise blue for spring. So I think I'll get started with, I think this is the closest sort of neutral shade. I don't know if, I mean, it's hard to do a look with just one eyeshadow palette. You kind of want to pull something that's your own, close to your own skin tone. But I think we'll use a little bit of pumpkin and we'll just kind of get that going and like the crease area and we'll just, we'll use very little, the nice blending end of the brush that came inside of here. I did sneak in one clean Sigma brush. Let's see the, oh, E38. And then if I'm not mistaken, that's what the end of this is that I'm using. 
Yeah, E38. So I did sneak in and clean one of those for blending in case we get desperate. But we'll start out with the E38 end and a little bit of pumpkin. Ooh, that was a lot of pumpkin. Tap some of that off. And we'll just start slowly <laughs> building this in um, like the outer crease area. These are pretty pigmented, so I'm just trying to take like the smallest whisper of color to start with, and you can always add more and build as you go. We'll add just a tiny bit more. All right, now I will go in with the other end of the dual-ended eyeshadow brush that came with the palette, and I will take some of the green shade Courtyard. So I'll be going in with the green right above our target turquoise shimmer. And just a touch of this, at most, probably halfway towards the edge, so I'm gonna to start towards the edge and work my way towards about the center of my eyelid. That does sheer out nicely, so I think I'm gonna go a little further just to make sure I have a nice base for the turquoise to blend into. All right, now I'll go back in with just a little bit more and really focus on the outer edge to deepen that a bit. Same color courtyard. All right, now I'm gonna take the smaller brush, the E30 out of the, uh, the set of brushes and I'm going to put Courtyard just a little bit under to about the center of the eye, just to kind of balance everything. Again, we'll start with a tiny bit. We can always build. All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit of pumpkin and just sort of smooth out the edge a little bit underneath. We'll go back in with the fluffy brush carefully. I'm trying to see if I have another small brush from the dual-ended eyeshadow brush. All right, I can't wait anymore. I'm excited. I feel like we are ready to lay down some shimmer. <laughs> so we're gonna go in with Sweet Nightingale, which is the lovely turquoise shade. I just cannot wait to get into. And then we'll eventually go in with I think some wishful for like an inner corner highlight and a little brow bone highlight. You know, classic. I uh, will use the flatter brush from the set, the E55. So this is one of the ones that came in the full set, if you get the full Cinderella set. I should probably miss the, the brush first. I want maximum color payoff here. Uh, I don't have Fix Plus in front of me. I'm just gonna use some of my grape water. Just like a little bit, add that pop. <laughs> I have gone for it and loaded up the brush. I'm just excited. Yes, yes. That is everything I hoped and dreamed it would be. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. That is so satisfying. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in with, ooh, I am going to have to try to clean this off. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get my color switch so I can do my inner corner highlight, a little bit of brow bone. Be right back. All right, so back with my little color switch. I love this thing, it's a little silicone. Um, basically like a, kind of like a, not quite cleaner, I wouldn't say that, but it does take the pigment off of your brush. So you just kind of swipe it on there. And now, if I swipe my brush, nope, color comes off. So we're good, we're safe. What were we doing? That's right, I was thinking as I was grabbing the color switch, I kind of want to add a little of the turquoise, like 
just in the under eye, but just kind of like a little bit in the middle. Might be a bad idea, that's okay. Makeup washes off. We're just gonna see what happens. So now that I've cleaned this, cleaned it off. <laughs> well, a tiny bit to the other side. It's one of those, I'm not sure you can really tell unless you're up close, but I know it's there. One of those little things that once you put mascara on, I feel like it ends up looking, it ends up helping because the mascara can kind of cover things up. So if you have like a little extra. All right, now we were here for the inner corner highlight. Let's <laughs> brush off the turquoise I could not help myself with. And let's go into Wishful. Just a little bit right under the brow. Yeah, whatever was left on the brush was enough. That is bright. All right, I am so happy with how this turned out. I can't wait to play with some of the purples or some of the other colors, but I feel like this is a fairly easy spring look. You know, like if you're going out for brunch or something, it's just, it's a little brighter. It's not quite as intense as like a big smoky eye, which I feel is a little harder to wear. So let's dive into the highlight and the blush. First blush. So this is the shade Ever After. <laughs> it's fairly peachy, um, kind of warm. So we'll see, cause I did go really sort of cool and blue with the eyes, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> we'll take the blush brush that came with the set. It's not one of the angled ones. Um, I do like an angled blush brush, but it's all right. It's like a dual purpose powder and blush. Yeah, that's fairly warm. I feel like I would do something a little more pink, but I'm the one who picked blue for the look. So <laughs> I'm sure if you went into some of the more peachy or purple shades, you'd be a little happier with the combo, but overall it's really pretty. I think definitely later in summer, I would like something this peachy or, you know, depends on the eye look, but very pretty. Nicely pigmented. I don't feel like I pulled up too much and we're, we're pretty rosy now. <laughs> this is very Cinderella. All right, highlighter brush. And we'll go into Afterglow over here. The little carriage. Oh, I love the carriage, it's so cute. I feel like that's, that's pretty intense. <laughs> it does go really well with the blush. I mean, they are nicely paired for sure. Yeah, a little goes a long way. That is a really pretty blush or uh, the combination of the highlighter and the blush. Running out of things to play with. We're down to the liquid lipstick and the lip gloss. So let's give the lipstick a try. We do have some lip balm on. I think we don't have too much extra because this does seem to be not like matte, but definitely is a lip, liquid lipstick. So I don't want to have too much balm on my lips to start with. Oh yeah, that's nice and opaque. I love that the shade of lipstick they included is a little more neutral and you know not not too intense, because if you're really going all out with the eyes, which you certainly can do with this palette, it's nice to have the matching lipstick be, you know, a little more toned down. But yeah, I like that a lot. That's really pretty. It's very wearable. Even outside of the set, I think I'd still find myself like able to pull this out and wear it. Let's add a little gloss. I like this. It's like a dual chrome gloss. So it's similar to a lot of the eyeshadow shimmers where it's dual chrome. It very much. Let me go back for a little more. Oh, I see. I accidentally wiped off most of the gloss on the, you know, when you're pulling it out, if you don't pull it out like straight enough, you can accidentally wipe off all the, and yeah. <laughs> so we have the gloss back. Oh yeah, that's like a slightly sort of purple opaly shade. Oh, that would go so pretty with several of the different colors in the eyeshadow palette. I think that would be amazing with the color fantasy. I think right here if you can tell but yeah it's sort of similar to how the um, lip gloss shifts that particular eyeshadow fantasy Ooh, i'm so happy with how this turned out please let me know if you pick this up if you have any like ideas or oh yeah you should totally try you know this color with that color um, i definitely want to dive in and try a few more looks with this this is nice i think it'd be good for for travel because you can kind of go 
a little less intense and just do a nice sort of everyday look with it or you can really smoke it out for evenings. So it's a great versatile palette. It was a lot of fun, high quality. If I'm gonna try a Disney collab from anyone, I wanted to try theirs. If anyone's tried the Alice in Wonderland, let me know how you like it. I thought those shades wouldn't be as good on me, right? Like I didn't think I would get as much use out of it as I think I will from these Cinderella palettes. But please give this video a thumbs up if you had a little bit of fun here today and subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.